Chris, can you talk about that offense attack tonight, especially the first inning? Yeah, we, we did a good job controlling the zone. Um, Mookie got a hanging slider, put a good swing on it. Rafi's at bat was amazing. And then Sander got a 3-1 fastball and then crushed it. You know, and that's what you got to do against Kanaka. You know, this is a guy that he never gives in. And he's relentless, pitching to the edges of the strike zone. And we did an outstanding job getting him in the middle of the zone. Did the long wait affect Porcello in the second? Um, I know he doesn't mind that, but uh, it just they, they're a good offensive team. And, and they, and Didi put a good swing on, a, on that fastball you know, after a long at bat. Um, and they kept going, you know, May he put that long at bat too, and that's something they do on a nightly basis. They they don't quit. They they keep putting quality of bats after quality of bats. You you, you got to play nine innings and you got to keep making pitches. Um, he gets out of that one. They only scored two, and after that he made some adjustments and uh, you know he was able to give us six. So it was a good night for him. Alex, was that a good opportunity to for Nate to to pitch? And do you have kind of a feel for when you'll be comfortable using him in a in a high leverage situation or a closing situation? We call him and he he, he said he wanted one in today, so you know we felt to, we felt using it there. I mean we could have gone somewhere else, but he he felt like he needed that one. So um, we're comfortable. We know where where we're gonna use him, but he hasn't pitched <clears throat> in two days and. He asked for it, so he pitched out. We put him out. Are you still kind of feeling out his his workload that that way? No, not really. No, we we know where he's at. He's healthy. We know it just happened that we we haven't haven't been able to use him in a in a close game when we're up or tied. Alex, what what changed for uh, Rick after that second inning? Just his ability to put away hitters. Um, I think he started mixing up his off speed pitches. The, the breaking ball. Came into play, he threw a few changes, but at the end, everything was fastball command. And even though in that inning, they uh, they put good at bats, but he he was good with it. Uh, I think Voy hit a breaking ball. Um, did he hit a fastball? The man he kept fouling up fastballs and, and breaking balls, but it, everything starts with that. And he was able to use it and uh, to establish it, and then he was able to expand later on. Alex, for all the ups and downs so far in the season, when you see your offense rolling like that against a good pitcher like Tanaka. You still get pretty confident you can get where you want to go? We've been running offensively for a while now. Um, you know, those, those three guys on top, especially the, the number two hitter and third hitter, they've been consistent the whole season, and they're doing damage. Um, and you can see that bad by Rafi in the first inning. You know, probably last year he would chase that pitch in 3-2. He takes the walk, and then Xander on a 3-1 count, he crushed that one in. They've been very consistent, and then when when Mookie's getting on at this rate, it's been probably like a month already. But his on base percentage is, is where it's supposed to be. Uh, is we become a good offense. Um, you know, I think Benny's been the bad the way he is the last few days. It adds more, and then you know what Christian is doing, and and Brock, and you know Chavis gets a chance to play today. He puts some good swings, so now we. We feel good offensively, and I think we've done a better job the last month and a half to to put good at bats with men in scoring position. I think that was the difference early on, but we've been pretty good for for, for a while now. Alex, this is the third straight game between these two teams where the winning team has scored double figures. You were able to kind of hold them down after that rough second inning, but um, how taxing are these games to pitching staffs knowing that no lead is safe, and it's you know it seems like every game, one both teams are scoring seven, eight, ten runs. Yeah, I mean it happened last year too. So we know what kind of offense they have, and, and they know what kind of offense we have. So um, early on in our hitters meeting, we we're talking about our game plan, and all that, and somebody said that if we if we do that, it's going to be a long night, and. One of the guys said, it's going to be a long night regardless. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, we're ready for a long weekend. We know that. And, you know, talking about the offense clicking in the last few weeks, 
after how inconsistent it was at times all year, do you feel like it's at the level where it was last year consistently right now? Um, I mean, there's going to be games like Charlie Morton's going to pitch. And uh, there's going to be games like Sunday, you know, uh, with Joukowsky, you know, with the cutter slider. It's going to happen. That, that's baseball. But on a consistent basis, we, we feel that we can we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with whoever other offenses, you know. Um, when we're leading the big leagues in run scores, and, and for like two months we were talking how inconsistent we <laughs> we were, but we feel good. We feel good about it. I think the difference is, like I said, and I don't know if the numbers are going to back me up, uh, down or, or not, but when men are scoring position, we, we've been a lot better for a month and a half. Does that make you feel better about kind of the pitching staff inconsistency that sometimes you can just outslug I mean, and outslug? Um, we did it sometimes last year, but. Uh, it starts with those guys on, on the mound, and this is what the, the fifth one or whatever that we go six plus. So that's great. You know, um, if those guys do what they usually do, um, they're going to put us in a good spot, and we know we're going to score runs. Just after the way all the other games had kind of gone against the Yankees this season, how nice was it to finally get them in your park? Um, I mean, it's good to play here, obviously, but. Uh, it really doesn't matter with them. They, they're good. They're, they're really good. And um, I don't know. But I think I was working on TV or something. And one year, one year, I think the Red Sox they won the first ten games, and then um, the Yankees won the next nine or something like that. Right? Yeah. So oh nine two. Yeah, I was playing at that. So that's that's the, the nature of baseball, you know. Um, you know, you go into runs, and sometimes you play a team that is hot and you're banged up a little bit or you don't play well and, and they sweep you and it, it is but they they're a good team and we have a good team it just happens that you know they they won six out of the first eight i think so today we have a good night but like i said a few days ago we're gonna turn the page and show up tomorrow and, and do it again